what had always been the great land of the eagle, began to corrupt in the claws of the sloth. The sloth would blow the meandering sheep with promises of positives. The sloth would try to crew mine allies the wolves and sheep dogs with a ministry of madness with the name of truth. But these were only misdirection, half-truths and blind plagiarisms. The sloth knew these acts well, even with his decaying mind. Behind him his shadow grew. Soon a noise would come from the silent wolves and sheep dogs who had held quiet for too long. They would accept the corruption of the primates and the donkeys no further. They would no longer accept the false niceties of the sloth. But was it much too late? Those from the ranks of the elephants had started to gain footing pushing back on the evils of the sloth, but were they too late? Would anything be left of the land of the eagle? Those among the sheep and those among the donkeys and primates were set in the path they had started in middle ground had long stopped existing. The plague had long quieted in the background, but the primates would try. 